Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. We're continuing our conversation at Be Ready Park City, Be Ready Summit County, and that's why I'm very happy to have Chris uh, Crowley here as well as uh, Nancy Johnson. And uh, we've got a lot to talk about when it comes to family communication. We've sort of scratched the surface on this just a minute ago with the chief and uh, with Hugh. And here's the thing. Uh, I mentioned this, uh, but it's so true. My dad, uh, you know, doing the fire drills in our house and asking us where we're going to go and making sure that we had a rally point and all those kinds of things and how important it is. And it's important to kind of drill through these things. I, in fact, I was at Broadcast House uh, with the other job just the other day and we had a fire alarm go off and it's been so long no one knew what to do you know they, they didn't weren't sure i'm like you know we have an app right and i pulled up the app and it tells you exactly what to do and we did it but it was just kind of funny you got to kind of review these things this is important having a comp plan so talk about that well it, for us um i'm trying to get the message out i've been doing this for about uh 40 years um, various groups and communities that i've lived lived in throughout the united states and um, you know we're responsible for our families yeah. and it's important that the families think about uh, you know what they're going to do in an emergency not just a uh, a fire in the house right. but also if there's something going on in the community yeah so um, when you're, especially when you're split up which so often families are here hither and yon no, well, we start every morning yeah. and we all have our routines. We're going to work, or we're taking the kids to school, and uh, you know, we're going to have soccer practice or whatever that's going on in our family lives. And we don't think, we don't think anything about it, but then all of a sudden something happens and it right. changes our routine. And you need to be prepared for that. And so we just ask, um, I've taught families on how to have the family communication plan. That's first and foremost. And one of the things that uh, we emphasize here in Park City is that they sign up for the alert program. And yeah. the alert program is on their phone and it will um, alert them as to what's going on in Park City. So if I happen to be in Salt Lake and you know I, had, I don't have kids in school anymore, but you know back then when yeah. I did, um, I would know what was going on and um, also if you're in Summit County they have what is it the code code red program which is right. the same thing so that's the first and foremost thing to do okay and then um, to sit down with your family and create a plan and the plan is going to encompass having an out-of-state contact right that everybody calls everybody calls everybody knows that number it can be Aunt Jill it could be your best friend that's in California or sure. you know, whatever but you're going to have that out-of-state contact and the reason is because um, when you're local and there's a disaster everybody's using their cell phone and you can't necessarily get it out um, yeah. uh, you know make the call through yeah. so but out of state it seems to have a better uh, chance of making it out right um, so you, you do that and then um, like like your, you did your dad did you practice drills yeah um, so there's things like that that they need to uh, you know think about and they need to plan for and you need to practice for yeah it wouldn't hurt uh, to you know to have you know the kids when they're out one day uh, <coughs> doing different things to, to you know to, to test it out with them send them a text message well, what would you do right now if <laughs> you know where what, what's the plan that, go review it with me that's an excellent idea and the thing is is you talked about you you, you drilled you know with yeah. your dad you had a location outside of your house right that you're all going to meet exactly okay? you also need to have a location outside of your neighborhood yep. that you're going to meet and one of the other things is is if you happen to work in Salt Lake and um, you can't get right back have you made plans for your children? Have yeah. you made plans for your pets, maybe with a neighbor that they're going to pick them up or, or whatever, so that you know that they're safe? Now, we weren't planning on talking about this aspect, but it reminds me that we probably should because uh, this is such an important aspect. Uh, we've talked about the number of businesses that don't recover from, especially it seems, earthquakes. That seems to be one that'll put a business right out, you know, like lots of businesses go right out um, in fact, I, the numbers are staggering. Uh, it's well beyond 50% of businesses that don't recover from d big disasters. But just having uh, this sort of same kind of communication with your employees 
if mm -hmm. we have an earthquake, if we have a fire, you know, what is the plan? Have that book, uh, you know, at the front desk or whatever. Have somebody know what that plan is. Uh, communication plan for the employees, uh, an important part of that too, isn't it? Um, yeah, you need to practice. You yeah. actually need to have, most businesses are supposed to have an evacuation plan and an right. emergency plan in place. And you do need to practice that. It's always surprising how many don't. <laughs> That's what I've I found anyway. Or at least they don't know what it is. Or they don't know where it is. So. Yeah, definitely important. And that's an important aspect, I think, for a business, for a home, for a family. It's really about community engagement and community planning. And that's one of the things that we've been stressing, working with, with Nancy and our CERT, um, our community emergency response teams, right. and other communities throughout Summit County. You know, we want planning really to be at the most basic and practical level, on a personal, on a professional level, um, you know, employees should know about evacuation routes and how they can assist people inside, um, you know, who are visiting the business, how to be safe and, and exit in the event of an emergency. But as Man Nancy uh, mentioned, we also want to make sure that families have the ability to reconnect and that's very important especially if you have kids to make sure that they understand what their next step should be because we may not necessarily have cell um, coverage or, or telephone access or right. even the ability to get back up the hill and we want our kids to be safe and understand that you know they can go to the neighbor's house or they can go to you know stay at the at the school if yeah. that, or, or whatever maybe program go to the library they're at. Or exactly. Somewhere where you know there's going to be a lot and of people gathering. And that makes it a yeah. lot easier for, again, for families to reconnect and, you know, you know to touch lightly on the, the recovery aspect for businesses, I, I happen to have lived through the 1989 earthquake in, in San Francisco. And you're right, businesses went out of business as a result of, of that event. Um, and it's not something that's very common for a business to put together a recovery plan. Right. But it is, in fact, something that is is necessary, especially if you live in or you have a business in a high-risk area, be yeah. it for wildfires, earthquake, severe weather. Yeah. A and these are things that that we can count on. That yeah, we are, we are in a high risk area. I exactly. hate to say it, but we're way overdue for an earthquake and we've had the fires and we know what they're like. Yeah. And, and even severe weather that may impact us for a week, that, that right. could be devastating to a business, sure. certainly to a family, and those kinds of preparations are, are, are warranted. Yeah, we haven't really been snowed in in a long time, but it certainly could happen again. Absolutely. And we hope we get that kind of snow for sure. Well, I want to thank you guys, as always, for being here. This is so it was so vital um, to get some of these ideas on the communication plan with your family. Where can we get more information for that? Um, they can get it on the, the uh, Summit County website. SummitCounty.org. Uh, it will be, I think, uh, listed on your website That's right. on YouTube. Yep. And, uh, you know, yep. uh, and the city is also. I'm working both with the city and, and the, the county. county. Yeah. to get this and to get the community involved in kind of being self-sufficient for those first at least 72 hours. Yeah, as we said, three days you are on your own, mm. very likely that we're not yeah. going to get to you. And we're way. such a unique environment here with the tourists here and the thousands right. that are here. You know, they're going to be a priority for the first responders. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're going to need help. And, you know, we talk about this, but it's, it's a good point. Uh, if you want to be, and everybody wants, I know they want to step up. I know they want to be there to be helpful and to, to, to help out. Uh, you can't help anyone until you help yourself first. Exactly. You're number right? one. Yeah, put on that mask, then help the people mm -hmm. around you, right? Yeah. Exactly. As they say. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and we're offering a lot of different resources. Like, like Nancy said, you can go to our websites. We also want to encourage people to go to Be Ready Utah, which has yep. great resources for family planning and, and disaster planning in general. We're also hosting a number of preparedness fairs. We did one um, last spring. We're also going to be doing one in Park City uh, in September, correct? September, September 9th yeah. we're, okay. we're going to have one and it will it will touch on 
all aspects of the 72 hour and evacuation, things that could happen here in Park City and being able to prepare, prepare yourself. All right. And we'll be hosting um, a booth at the Summit County Fair, as well as other preparedness fairs throughout Summit County. Yeah, that's a great opportunity to get some more information, exactly. talk to people about some of the questions you might have about being prepared. And of course, uh, guys, I want to thank you, as always, for trying to help make sure people are. Thank well, you. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it's, it's you. so important. Remember that, uh, as we've said it now, this will be probably the fourth or fifth time we've said this, but it's worth repeating. Uh, the first 72 hours, three days. Three days, guys. Think about how long that really is. You may be very likely on your own. Pretty, almost a guarantee <laughs> you're on your own. So you've got to take care of yourself. You've got to be ready. You've got to have the water. You've got to have the resources. And you certainly got to have the knowledge about what you're doing to be safe. So it's all about be ready. Park City, Be Ready Summit County, Be Ready Utah, go to BeReady.gov as well. All those sites are uh, helpful, but thinking in that way is going to make sure that you are a survivor. Much more to come up, come here on the Mountain Morning Show as we wrap up this hour, wrap up uh, the day here shortly, but uh, much more coming your way on the next hour right here on Park City Television.